Hi there, my name is Bailey Steindo. This is Art by Bailey. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to be doing a DIY with Dollar Tree materials. The item I'm going to be matching is this rug. These mirrors are going to be hung in my bathroom. So I decided the best idea would be to bring the rug in here so I can compare what paints and design choices to make. So here are some of the mirrors I've chosen. I've, I have seven different ones. Um, over here. I started by hanging them up on the wall. But to do so, these are made with very small little holes and the shape of the mirror is beveled so it makes it so that you have to have a lot of um, nails sticking out of the wall I didn't really like that so what I did was I drilled a hole in the top of each one that needed it like for example this one it's designed so that you can just put a nail wherever you would like but for some of these others, this one, uh, I put a hole here. So let's talk about some design choices when I'm selecting paints for this. So I have seven mirrors and my bathroom is mainly teal and blue. So this teal color and kind of this border blue color. So I started by selecting this color because it's very similar. And if needed, I can mix it with some other blue colors. Even some lighter blue if I wanted to accent it similar to the rug. And there's some darker blues in here so I've got some darker blue for that as well I might need to do some lining haven't decided yet so I've got black and then for the warmer tones there's some oranges reds and some yellow so I have red orange and yellow and a lot of these colors are actually from Dollar Tree and a couple are from I just have them probably from Walmart and so we're gonna need white as well I'm sure for mixing or for using solid because there is some white in the rug if I wanted to reflect that so what you're gonna need if you were to do this also along with me is a drill I used as medium bit I I don't actually know what size that is but if you look at whatever kind of nail head you've got, I have a bowl of used ones. Um, if you select your nail head and you make sure that your drill bit is at least bigger than that, you'll be good to go. So you'll need some nails as well. And you'll need a hammer to hang your nails. You might, I might, I'm not sure yet, if I want to tape off the mirrors or if I'm just going to trust myself. You'll need some paintbrushes. I have a ton. Water to clean off your brushes as you go and I think that's kind of all that you would need for this project. So let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to start with this one. It's a more round shape. And since I'm going to do accenting with the warm tones, I'm going to just start by painting the base in this um, turquoise tone from Dollar Tree. I'm switching to a smaller brush for the more detailed rim. 
make sure you get into the lines if you've got a shape like this so that you don't have any pooling because even if you could sand it later but getting into the nitty gritty is difficult. dry. While that first one's drying, I thought I'd do one in a light blue tone. As we can see, this isn't covering very well over the black since it's a light color and the paint is a little bit, a little bit thin. So, what I'll do is I will get one coat on as best as I can and then wait for it to dry because if you try and pack on more paint, especially acrylic paint, um, plastic, so a smooth front finished item like this, it will just pick back up off of the off of the plastic and create like a sticky residue finish rather than a beautiful smooth finish. Alright, I think I'm going to set this one aside and move on to the next one. And I'm really thinking that red would be a nice color in this one. So we're going to do that. This is the red base. Now I'm going to grab another one. For the next base, I'm going to be using Deep Blue by Quality. And this was found at Dollar Tree as well. Alright, this one doesn't look that much different, but I think in the right light it will glow beautiful blue. I'm going to go on to the next color. Alright, for this shape, I think we can play with the detailing around the edge, the beading. And I'm going to paint the base a blue tone of the whole thing. Maybe I'll leave out the rim. And then I can do a warm tone rim to play with the colors that are in the rug. Now I'm going to add some orange around the rim. From doing the red one that the gold will poke through in a very beautiful way. This is silver, so I'm going to use a cool tone on this one. And I'm thinking I'm going back to our first original tea. For the last one, I'm going to do orange at the base, and I might go back in with a different color of petals. Off 
off camera, I have finished the bases of all of the mirrors. Most of them took two coats, but the light blue took three, and the orange, I think, also took three. I'm going to decorate each mirror. I love this solid color look, but I want it to go really well with the rug. So I have a rug over here that I'm looking at, and as much as the solid color would look interesting, I want to get more detail with the rug. So for this one, I'm going to use the flower petal aesthetic as a base for my design. I'm going to hit the top rims of these petals with orange as kind of a gilding. Closer to the center I might do some yellow. technique on the very top portion as if it's a little weathered. Using a smaller brush now. Dip it in a little water. This white I'm using is not very I use Allen wrenches. You know, I am going to use Allen wrenches. So for dots, I have a set of Allen keys. So I dip it and use it. You would think it might have the shape of the wrench, but it um, doesn't. I also have some really tiny daughters, but for this I think I'm going to do kind of a chunkier dot. Maybe that size will be a little smaller. Like this one. This one. And the dot will spread out a little bit as the dot. This 
instructions about double as big. you're wondering how um, to select the spacing, I use what is there already. So if I look at the shapes on my frame, I can see that there's evenly spaced V's pointing into the frame here. So I can put dots on the V's, the V tips. And then I can put one using my eyes um, to kind of space it evenly, put one in the middle of them. And then if I wanted to, I could put one between those two. So I'm kind of just instead of dividing things into eight equal parts or something like that, you're just dividing in half. And it's much easier that way. This one, as I was painting it, it was originally black, and on my first coat of turquoise, I liked the black in the creases remaining, so I'm going to replicate that after it's all been turquoise, so it's even. I'm going to go in with a really little brush, and uh, some of the deep blue color and go into the trenches to kind of make it more, have more depth. Okay, now that I have paint in all the deeper portions, I will be dampening my rag and wiping away what I can, and it will be kind of a color stain effect. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to continue rubbing because I started rubbing off a little bit of the teal. So I'm going to touch up the teal and I think this one I like as is. So next I'm going to do this one and in order to continue the design I small dot I used earlier will maybe work, but I'm going to go up just a little bit because I want it to look good with the 3D bubble effect that's already there. So I made a mistake over here, so there's three in one, so I'm going to add a couple of random yellows. I think that looks nice. It looks almost like light bulbs. And I think I'm happy with just the blue. I thought about doing kind of petals of different colors. I still could, but I like it blue. And the, most of my bathroom is blue with accents of warm tones. So I think it's appropriate to keep it blue. For this one, 
Although I think it would be fun if I did dark dots on the outside and light dots on the inside with the material form on the bottom, I mean the base. So I will be using the deep blue. First dip, it's going to be the biggest dot, and then as you move the paint off of your tool, the dots will be smaller because it's not puddling out. If you have too much paint, so for that one, I ran out of paint on the tool, so we got. all the way it will spread out but if you put only a little bit of pressure it won't spread out as much For this one, I'm inspired by a nautical star design, which is a 3D star that you paint, or that is shaded one side of the point in one color and the other side in another. So I'm going to be doing that here right now. I actually am really falling in love with how this looks as is. I'm wondering if I can incorporate any warm tones to have it look nice. I don't know, I'm really liking it as is, so maybe no warm tones for this one. I'm going to touch the yellow up on this one. For this one, I think it would be really sweet to do some dots. I think I'm going to do these on all the rest of the petals too.
Thank you for being here with me as I painted these seven mirrors. And I'd like to show you what they look like in comparison to the rug that was the inspiration. I'm now going to put them up on the wall and show you what they look like in the bathroom. Here's the bathroom and the inspirational rug is a match to this runner and I have some other blue paintings and my shower curtain which has some of the same teals and dark blues and light blues that I use for the mirrors. So here are the mirrors behind the door. Put them all arranged on the wall. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love it if you subscribed to Art by Bailey. You can check out our, my website for any prints or paintings that you would like and have a blessed day.